Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Evergreen Christian Community Church. If you don't mind, uh, why don't you give the Lord a hand clap of praise? <laughs>
of the earth will give way, and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Through its waters, though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolations he has brought on earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shield with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. Again, the 10th verse says, he says, be still and know that I am God. Yes. This is our scripture for this morning. We give uh, another one of our laity, Brother Grace Band, to give us a word of prayer. Let's pray our hearts. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Lord, our Heavenly Father, we come again, Lord, and to the house of prayer one more time, Lord. Just thank you and blessing your name, Lord, for your goodness and your mercy, Lord. We realize that you touched us this morning with your finger, Lord, that our eyes came open, Lord, blessed to see a brand new day. And Lord, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy, Lord, for without your goodness and mercy, Lord, we wouldn't even be here. Yes. Lord, many laid down on last night and we were not able to get up this morning, but Lord, you blessed us with strength in our bodies, Lord, and with a man, Lord, to come to the house of prayer, Lord, to serve you, Lord. Yes. We realize that, that everything that have breath, we should praise the Lord. Yes. To have breath in our bodies, we should give him the praise yes. Yes. for all of the goodness and mercy well, yes. he showed us. Yes. And before we ask for anything, Lord, we just want to praise you. And thank you for everything you already done. Thank you. We realize that we are blessed, Lord. We are blessed above many and many thousands, Lord. We know that you are able, Lord, to lift up even a bow down. We just come blessing your name today. Lord, we realize that, that many, Lord, are sick with COVID, other illnesses in the hospitals, Lord. Lord, even those that are prison bound, Lord, we just pray, Lord, you would just look and look, have mercy, Lord. Yes, Lord. We know you are able, Lord. Yes, Lord. We know you can do it, Lord. Yes. We know you, Lord, are a great God, able to do anything but to you. Yes. But, Lord, we just come, Lord, today, Lord, just, just to thank you. We just want to thank you. For you've been mighty good to us. you blessed us. You kept us. And then, Lord, you have, have given us, Lord, a, a right man. Yes. We yes. thank you, Lord, for that. But we realize that many, Lord, are not stable, Lord. But what you, because of your goodness and mercy, Lord, we just thank you. We can't thank you enough for all the things you've done for Lord. We had 10,000 tons. We couldn't pray. Yes. For all you've done, Lord, we realize that. That we are blessed, Lord. We should just open up our minds. Lift up our hands, Lord. And just say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your goodness. Lord, we just pray that as we go forward this day, Lord, you just bless us with your presence. Lord, you come back for just a little while. It'll all be worth our time and our effort, Lord. We just pray you just come back with us. Stand with us, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Even, even when the word comes, Lord, we pray that you can just expound upon the word, Lord. Open our ears and our eyes, Lord. We can see you, Lord. Oh, Lord, look and have mercy. We just want to thank you. We want to bless your name, and Lord, we'll be careful to give you all the glory, all the praise, all the honor that's due you. These are all blessings and acts in Jesus' name. For his sake we pray. Thank God. Amen.
thing. And for that, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Just uh, one quick announcement. One quick announcement. One quick shout out. Uh, thank you for the, the folks that came out on yesterday for our, our harvest celebration. You know, we were few in number, but we came and we showed up and the kids had a good time. Uh, there are a few items that are left uh, in the kitchen, so uh, feel free to grab and, and, and take them with you. And with that, uh, we're going to yield and introduce this little rain for an introduction and, uh, of our guest speaker for today. Let's give our hand as you yeah. go. Earth's giving honor and praise to God for waking us up this morning to see another beautiful day. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Say good morning, family. Good morning, visitors. Good morning, Evergreen. It is so good to be before you this morning to bring to you our guest speaker for the morning. It gives me great joy to present to us Pastor Scotty Irvin from the big town of Pelahatchee, Mississippi. Pastor Irvin is married to the lovely wife, Alicia, for 26 years, praise God, who is a nurse. They have two sons, Sheldon, a graduate of Alcorn State University with a master's in Bible Science, and Devin, who is a freshman at Alcorn State University, starting to be an engineer. Amen. Pastor Irvin, and I quote, says, I've been preaching, I've been pastoring for 27 years, and I ain't tired yet. Amen. Family and friends, please help me welcome to Evergreen Christian Community Church, Pastor Scurry Irvin. Oh, 
God say it one more time. Amen. I want to give praises and honor to God our Father, to Jesus our Christ, and to the precious Holy Spirit, Amen. and certainly to uh, my wife and children, Amen. Uh, both of the churches we pastor, Abundant Life, on with Rock Pisgah, there are those in the house from both of those churches on today. And again, we thank God for the privilege of being here this morning. Amen. Now, I need you to do me a favor, and that is act like you in church. I believe I'll say that again. Uh, let us not be so stiff. Let us act as though we are in church. Yeah. Fact about it. Act like you've been blessed. Yeah. Beyond measure. Yeah. That you're so blessed you can't keep it to yourself. Yeah. And just why you're being blessed. Bumped your neighbor and said I was glad. Yeah. When they said unto me. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Yeah. Pandemic has had us out of church too long. Yeah. Now it's time to get back to the praise and worship of the Lord. Yeah. Glory to God. Evergreen, we thank God for you. Appreciate the privilege, and we will not bore you long. But there is a word from the Lord. Yeah. I said there's a word from the Lord. Yeah. Half of y'all don't even know who you are yeah. with your mask on. Yeah. Amen. amen. So you can say amen and folk won't even know it's you. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Again, not to bore you any longer, there's a word from the Lord, and we thank God for us being here on today. And anytime there's an opportunity to preach, I'm blessed. Amen. 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 I'm like, I'm like uh, Reverend Nathaniel Booker. Bless his heart, rest his soul. He said, I can't preach, but I sure like trying. <laughs> Amen. Well, yeah. I sure like trying. Yeah, yeah. There's a word from Philippians, I believe, chapter number one. I'm going to call your attention. Amen. I'm going to ask that you would stay with us, keep your Bible open. Amen. Because... Uh, it's not about coming here hooping you into a ballistic, but it's about leaving a message with you uh, that God has put in our spirit just for you. Right. Amen. 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 If I happen to try to put a little gravy on the message, I, I, can't, I, I can't give you gravy if I don't give you meat. Amen. Gravy tears stomachs up. Why don't you say amen? Amen. amen? You ever had a gravy sandwich? No. Oh, bless the Lord. Amen. amen. Right. <laughs> Philippians chapter 1, there's seven verses. Chapter, chapter 1, verse 12 to verse number 18. Amen. Paul is uh, our speaker today, and he is incarcerated. It reads out of the open Bible. But I want you to know, brethren, that the things which happened to me, amen, I'm going to wait on you, have actually turned out for the furtherance of the preaching of the gospel, so that it has become evident to the whole palace and guard and to all the rest that my bonds or my chains are in Christ. And most of the brethren in the Lord have become confident now by my chains and are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Some indeed preach Christ even from envy and strife and some also from goodwill. The former Preach Christ from selfish ambition and not sincere, 
supposing to add afflictions to my bonds or my chain. But the latter, they preach it out of love, knowing that I am appointed for the defense of the gospel. Paul says, what then? Only that in every way, whether in pretense, which means false, or in truth, Christ is preached. And in this I rejoice. Yes, and I will rejoice. That's enough. You may be seated. Bump your neighbor while you're sitting down and just tell them, preaching with purpose. Preaching with purpose. I went to the National Congress and the instructor, Pastor Dr. Jeffrey Gons, made the statement, he said, if preaching has no point, then what's the point in preaching? I want to have a guy witness. I said, if there is no point in your preaching, what is the true point of preaching? You should leave here better than you were when you got here. Yeah. There should be something to encourage you yeah. to know that trials come yeah. only to make you strong. Yeah. I wonder how God read this. Paul, in these four chapters of Philippians, he has four points, and we're going to get out of your way here in a minute. Paul says, first of all, I need you to know who it is that's in charge of my life. Mm -hmm. Paul says, for me to live mm -hmm. is Christ. Mm -hmm. In other words, the only reason I'm here mm -hmm. is because of Christ. Mm -hmm. And then he said, if I die, mm -hmm. I gain. So what Paul was saying is, I don't lose whether I live. I don't lose if I die. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know how you feel about it, but it's good to know that whatever state you are in, all is well with your soul. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. Chapter 2, Paul says, uh, Christ is the model of true humility. And he says, for this reason, uh, let this mind be in you. That was also in Christ Jesus. Yeah. And sometimes folk don't let you be humble. Yeah. Folk don't hardly let you love them like you want to love them. Yeah. But he said, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And so when folk don't want you to love them, yeah. sometimes you have to shake the dust off your feet. Yeah. I wonder, do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. As a testimony that you did do what God told you to do and move on to the next place. Yeah. Chapter 3, Paul says, ah, one thing when it's all over with, Christ will transform this old feeble body of mine into a body that is more like his own glorious body. Yeah. Yeah. Chapter 4, Paul ends it by saying, I can do all things Amen. through Christ which strengthens me. I had to say those things to let you know what Paul's message was to the church at Philippi. Again, Paul is incarcerated. Paul is in prison. But Paul is encouraging others when he really needs someone to encourage him goes to let us know, sisters and brothers, that it really doesn't matter what we're going through. We still ought to be Christ-like. Yeah. I want to have a God with us. Yeah. We say we're born again, yeah. but we don't want no trials. We don't want no tribulations. Yeah. But I come to tell you, they do come to make us strong. Yeah. Paul says in verse 12, he said, and I want you to know, in other words, some folk didn't know. That brethren, that the things which has happened to me did 
not happen in vain. He said, my change and all the things that's going on has happened to Father, the preaching of the gospel. And I need to ask you a question this morning. You're dealing with things in your own life. Because you don't have to be in a physical prison to be locked up in your mind. I wish I had some help. You can be sick and it feels like prison. You can be in a marriage and it feels like prison. You can be in a church. I wish I had somebody. And it feels like you're in prison. And so therefore, you don't have to be behind bars. You don't have to be in the county jail to be locked up. But Paul says, if you're locked up, if you're dealing with something, there's a way that you need to deal with it. And this message talks about preaching with purpose. But let me tell you something. If you've been born again, yeah. we all have a message in our bellies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have an obligation, I have an obligation oh, yeah. to minister the word of God. Yeah. Because you didn't get to where you are on your own. Yeah. You are where you are because of him. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you are. Yeah. And so there's a message in all of us. Yeah. Now, I don't want to get in the debate of whether a woman can preach or not. Because if you get into that debate, you know how we are sometimes. Yeah. We're going to fight women for trying to preach. What about brothers that ain't called to preach? Are you going to fight them too? Yeah. 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 Because everybody behind the pulpit hadn't been called. Yeah. Can, can I say that again? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody that breath the pulpit, everybody with the Bible, has not been called to preach. The Lord said it this way. He said, everybody that says, Lord, Lord, shall not enter the kingdom of God. Only the pure in heart will see God. Paul says, so because of my bond, the gospel is not preached. Uh, so therefore, if you sick this morning in your body, well, you just need to tell yourself you ain't sick. All right, all right. So your neighbor who's sitting beside you that is sick yeah. will be able to tell themselves that I'm not sick. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how I got away. Yeah. Yeah. Because life and death. Yeah. I said life and death. Yeah. Lies within the power of your tongue. See, if you tell yourself you broke long enough, guess what? Shucky <laughs> ducky. If you tell yourself you broke long enough, you will be ah, on welfare. Yes, you will. And you can be broke as you can be and tell yourself you are financially blessed. Money will find you. Yes, it will too. Because you have to speak things into existence. The Bible says, speak things that be not as though they were. You woke up this morning, don't nobody know this but me and God. My toe were hurt. Glory to God. And I prayed, I said, now, I'm going to tell you something, Tom. You're not fit to be ingrown. Because an ingrown toenail will kill you. So I hear. I got to fooling with it, and that's the worst thing you can do. So if you see me limping, you say he did it. Glory to God. Paul said, so my bones have caused those around me to know that it's because of Christ that I'm bound. And I need to ask the question, why are you bound this morning? Is it because the love of God? Or is it because it's something that's self-inflicted? He said, everybody around me, so Paul was preaching even while incarcerated. Notice what he said in 13. He said, the whole palace guard and all of the rest 
They know why I'm in change. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm going to say this to you. If you're not being ostracized, if you're not being criticized, mm -hmm. it may be because you're not operating in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Because if you love God, mm -hmm. he said this, in the last days, mm -hmm. perilous times shall come. Mm -hmm. Men will become lovers of themselves yeah, yeah. rather than lovers of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the word of God. Yeah, yeah. And if you're not going through, it might be because you're part of the problem yeah. and not a part of the solution. Yeah, yeah. Glory to the Lord. Well, Paul said, and most of the brethren have become now confident. Well, In other words, if you see enough going on with somebody that's strong in the law, yeah, it will encourage you to know that if they made it, I wish I had it, if they were able to endure, I believe I can make it also. I was speaking to our ex-mayor in Tillahatchie. You might as well say amen. I know you saw all the negativity that went on in Pila Hatch. Yeah, right. But I come to tell you, there has to be a breakdown yeah. in order for there to be a build up. Yeah. And her administration, though she's out of office now, her administra administration is now being carried out. Sometimes, my sisters and brothers, they don't know how great you are yeah. until you dead and gone. Yeah. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. My children really won't appreciate me yeah. until they bring flowers to the cemetery. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had them. Yeah. They won't really appreciate me. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Because I didn't miss my granddad yeah. until he was gone. Yeah. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Yeah. And I wish for a conversation with him. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Paul said, so therefore you are now confident. And you can speak with boldness because of my suffering. Yeah. Paul said, so uh, indeed, why are you preaching? Don't do it in envy. Don't do it in strife. Paul didn't say this, but don't do it for money either. Yeah. Wish I had help. Yeah. Because sometimes that's what we do. Yeah. Sometimes our message don't mean nothing. Well, and if a message doesn't burn in the preacher's heart, yeah. how can he expect it to burn in the people's heart? Yeah. 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 He said the former preached Christ out of selfish ambitions. You'd be amazed at what we're preaching for now. Yeah. You'd be amazed, I said, at what we're preaching for now. Yeah. Yeah. Make very sure that whoever it is preach to you, that they have your soul at heart. They have your spirit at heart. They have your well-being at heart. Paul said, I'm not going through what I'm going through just to show you I can suffer. But I'm going through what I'm going through that you might be made better. Yeah. Paul said, preach it now with power because you saw my bones. Yeah. You saw my suffering. Yeah. So now when you go through some things, know that you're not the first one that have gone through. Yeah. Christ told me to tell you I'm on my way out of here now. Yeah. He said that if they hate you, understand they hated me first. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had some help here. Yeah. Well, preacher, who is they that hate you? Yeah. It's not necessarily your family, not necessarily your friend. Yeah. But if they don't know Christ, yeah. I wish I had him. Yeah. Anybody that don't know Christ yeah. is an enemy to Christ. Yeah. There are no gray areas. Yeah. Either you for the Lord yeah. or you are against the Lord. Yeah. Either you with the church yeah. or you are against the church. Yeah. Glory to the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta leave y'all alone. Paul said in verse 17, but those who preach it now, he yeah. said they preach it out of love. Well, and I want you to know something about me. Paul says, I'm appointed for the defense of the gospel. 
Well, somebody has to be lied on. Mm -hmm. yeah. In order for the next preacher to preach it, even when he's lied on. Mm -hmm. Preachers have to hurt mm -hmm. in order to really preach the gospel. Well, yeah. 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 I wish I had help here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We don't need to always have the carpet rolled out to us. Well, Sometimes we need to suffer for the sake of the gospel. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had help. Yeah, yeah. All we want to do is have anniversaries. Yeah. 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 What do you want an anniversary for? You don't even go to Bible study. Yeah. 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 Paul says, what then? What then? Only that in every way, whether false or truth, just so the word of God is preached. You know, some of the crookedest preachers in the world have led folk to the Lord. And died and went to hell themselves. So the word of God does not go out. And return to him more. Yeah. It will accomplish. Yeah. You don't have to worry about killing a preacher. Yeah. He's a crook, he'll kill himself. Yeah. Don't you say amen to yeah. You don't have to get a petition yeah. to vote him out. Yeah. Because God knows how to vote one out. Yeah. When God gets through voting him out, yeah. everything takes a hit around him. Well, yeah. I wonder how I got a witness. Yeah. Paul said, my sisters and brothers, well, I believe I just rejoice. Well, yeah. I rejoice while I'm suffering. Yeah. And again, I will rejoice. Yeah. When money is gone, well, I'll still Rejoice. Yeah. Friends are few. Yeah. I still rejoice. Yeah. All family members dead and gone. Yeah. Believe I'll still rejoice. Yeah. And I'll preach this word. Yeah. No matter what folks say. Yeah. And I come to tell you, preaching yeah. is not easy. Yeah. I know I'm right about that. Because Jeremiah in his youth told God I, I don't want to do this. Didn't he say it? He said uh, I'm too young and nobody will hear me. This is what Jeremiah said. But God told him, don't be afraid well, of their faces. Yeah, yeah. And I want to tell you, sometimes you members, well, you do make us a little uneasy. Yeah, well, I wonder how we got a witness. But I come to tell you, I was called to do this. And so therefore, I want to lie. How folk feel about me to determine whether or not I'm going to preach. Because my preaching is not predicated by who says amen. I wonder how we got a witness. I won't preach because the house is full, I won't preach because. They won't say amen. Yeah, yeah. But I come to tell you, he's been too good to me. Yeah. Paul said, Whoa, if I preach not this gospel. Yeah. Jeremiah was so scared to preach. Yeah. The reputation he had was he was the weeping prophet. Yeah. Cried about everything. Cried when they wouldn't say man. 
Glory to God. Yeah. Cried when the pandemic made him stay home. Oh, I'm all right now. Cried when the Lord told him preaching in it. Isn't that right? So I believe I feel preaching now. It's all right to tell the story. Isn't that right? And then this same Paul told Timothy. He said, now here's how the church going to act. Ain't God all right? He said, uh, there will be seasons. Ain't God good? When they will not uh, hear sound doctrine. You know what I mean? There will be times when uh, they will look you in the face yeah. and uh, tell you amen. Yeah. Hug your neck. Yeah. Only searching for a spot yeah. to stick the dagger in you. Yeah. Ain't God good. Yeah. But he told him Preach it anyway. Preach it in season. And then preach it out of season. I believe I back in right there. Because what he is in season. Thank God all right. In season, I believe it's when things are going well. Ain't God all right? Yeah. And uh, I just believe uh, out of season yeah. is when uh, the money run out. Yeah. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Out of season can also be when uh, coronavirus makes us afraid. But I need to back in there too. Because coronavirus won't make us go to church. But it will let us go everywhere else we want to go. Isn't that right? I come to tell you coronavirus don't have no power unless you let it have power. Ain't God all right? And somebody would tell me, well, Reverend, I lost loved ones to Corona. Well, I need to tell you, Paul had an answer for that too. Ain't God all right? Paul said to live in his Christ. Glory to God. And then he turned around and said to die his game. Do you hear what I'm saying? So what that means is coronavirus, though it took me out of the world. It didn't take me out of the kingdom of God. Hey God, all right. I gotta leave you good people alone now. But I come to tell you God sent me by him to tell you Trials and tribulation, they will come. Thank God, all right. And I need to tell you, just because you're no longer in the United Methodist Church, oh, Lord, trials will still come your way. Ain't God all right? All uh, you need to know is uh, still uh, you've been born again. Uh, it don't really matter what the organization you're in. Uh, oh, no, uh, you need uh, to be born 
he said. That's the whole point. Point said, he said, Paul said, don't pray, don't, don't be worried about me. You know, when Jesus was on the cross, and I'm true, and they were weeping, he looks at John, and he looks at his mother. He said, Son, behold your mother. Mother, behold your son. And then he said, Don't weep for me. Don't weep for me. I've overcome. I've overcome. So when you see me struggling and suffering, I've overcome. This is why I can still rejoice. Because I've overcome. And if you're trying to overcome, if you're trying to have peace, if you're trying to have joy, simply through people, you will never have joy through people. Your joy will have to be in the Lord. Somebody asked you, 
to do something. You ought to, if you're able and willing to do it, you ought to do it. Glory to God. Ms. Paulette asked for a special prayer this morning, uh, and we'll ask, uh, I guess, Pastor to render that prayer that, that, that along with our benediction and introduce his folks as well. Uh, uh, that she's having a procedure tomorrow, and you know, it don't matter what the procedure is. Well, it really, it really doesn't matter, matter what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, to ask for friends, and, and, and we wouldn't be worth our salt if you well, honor right. that, and, and, and we will do that. So, without further ado, again, we'll ask our I guess pastor to, to bless our offering and, and then say a special prayer for Miss Paulette as she gets ready to come. Again, let's bless this man of God. Yeah. Yeah. Man, if it's if it's in order, uh, if it's in order, and we can do this right where you are, all right. If it's in order, because I believe in the supernatural power of God. A whole lot of people don't. I think I'll say that again. I believe in the supernatural power of God. And if there are things in your life right now. Before we go, we're going to pray not only uh, for Miss Paulette, but we're going to pray for those of you that are dealing with some things now. Now, I know that all of us have issues. I, I took a handful of pills this morning for blood pressure and for diabetes. Now, if you think those things won't kill you, you got another thing coming. And whatever you're dealing with in your life today, we want to touch and agree and believe God together. I don't know if we're still on live, but it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, we all need prayer. We're all dealing with something. Somebody has been diagnosed with something and you're still waiting on results. Somebody's dealing with drugs. Somebody's dealing with all kinds of things. Today, we need to pray and believe God together as a group here today. That God will heal, deliver, and set free yeah. whatever it is you are dealing with. And you don't have to share it with nobody but God. Yeah. And if we believe together, and you pray this prayer with us, and you believe even when you leave this building. Because let me tell you something. If there are no signs and wonders follow preaching, what is the use in preaching? If people are not delivered from things they're going through, what is the purpose of going to church? Yeah, yeah. All right? So we're going to pray. That's in order that you be delivered from what you're going through. Somebody is a recovering cancer patient. Somebody is a recovering this, that, or the other. Whatever you're dealing with, let's talk to God about it now. I can get your attention. Everybody needs some finances. Lift up your hand if you can deal with just another dollar or two to get you through. Glory to God. Yeah, Lord. See, a lot of us don't like to talk about that. But the Bible said you have not because you ask not. So if we can pray right now. We're going to bless the offering first. We're going to bless the offering first. But then I want to pray. And I want you to get your mind stayed on your situation. So that God will deliver you from it. All right? Father, we thank you now for this offering that we are about to give. These tithes that we are about to give. Lord, that you would use it, uh, that we would use it for the glorification yeah. of the church down here on earth. Yeah. And that we would meet the needs with the finances yeah. that causes you to be pleased with our offering, yeah. to be pleased with our tithing. Yeah. Lord, we ask that you would bless that person that is about to give. Yeah. Give it back to them 20, 60, and 100 fold. Yeah. And then that is that person who doesn't have anything. <laughs> Father, we pray that you would bless their finances in the name of Jesus. Now, God, there are those, maybe under the sound of my weak and feeble voice, maybe those that are watching on social media. Lord, we speak right now in the precious name of Jesus that you would deliver that man who is struggling to put food on the table. Yeah, yeah. Who is struggling because he's behind prison walls. Yeah, yeah. Who is struggling because it seems that he doesn't get a fair chance. Yeah. 
Lord, I speak that you would touch that man. That man that has sickness in his body. Cancer has invaded. Heal him in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch that woman that has already checked and she's got a knot in her breast. Father, that you would move it in the name of Jesus. And that the scripture that says no weapons formed against us will be able to prosper, will become a reality in our lives. Lord, we want to thank you right now that every prayer has been answered, that every dilemma has been moved, that every situation has been worked out. Bless this church now, God, as it goes forward in its endeavor, that you would give it strength, God, that it will be the church that sitteth on a hill that has a life that cannot be healed. Bless it now, God. Bless it now. Go in now, Father. With Sister Pauline. And the procedure has already been diagnosed that things are already well. We claim it in the name of Jesus. We claim it. We claim it. We do glorify you for it. Those who travel with us far and near, Lord, we pray that you would bless them. Bless their efforts. Bless their efforts, God. Strengthen them where they're weak, build them where they're torn down. When you do this, remember me and my family. When you do this, we'll be ever so careful to give your name the glory, to give your name the praise, to give your name the honor. Bless every preacher in this area. In Jesus' precious name. Now receive the blessing. Now to the Lord who is able to do exceedingly, to do abundantly, above all that we could ask or think, according to the power of God that is at work in all of us. For it is in his name. We do pray. And all of God's children said together, Amen. Bump your name and tell your neighbor, have a good day. Glory to God.